Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you for stopping by and spending just a little bit of your time with me today. You guys know how much I appreciate that. Today is all about getting sexy. I want to show you some really sexy go-to outfits based on one favorite wardrobe essential, a cardigan. Yes, I'm kidding. It's a cardigan. I think even when we say the word cardigan, we tend to think of something fairly tame, fairly casual, but we all wear them and we all love them. I think most of us have a cardigan or two in our wardrobe and knits have never been so popular as they are now. They've had such a resurgence in fashion. It's all about knits lately. It's about the lightweight ones and the heavier ones and cardigans or cardies as I'm going to refer to them, they've never been so popular. I'm seeing a lot of cardies tucked into jeans with the half tuck and I'm seeing a lot of oversized cardies worn over all sorts of pants and dresses. They're just really in at the moment and they are a great wardrobe essential. I think they are these days. So today what I want to do is show you some go-to outfits. These are go-to casual outfits and different ways perhaps that we can wear our cardigans in a casual way still or dress them up a little bit into smart casual even. And I'm going to show you some cardies that aren't all black <laughs> or all beige. Today I want to have fun with cardigans because there are so many new cardigan styles out there and knits out there and colours and prints. Really, the sky's the limit. I just thought it'd be fun to break away from our traditional black cardies, which I own a couple of and I've got a couple of neutral ones as well. Beige is really popular and grey is also a really popular colour for cardigans. Today I thought I'd break away and I'd also wear them perhaps with some different items that you haven't thought about wearing them or wearing them in a different way, in a trans-seasonal way for spring and autumn. This cardigan is one of the styles that I'm talking about. It's got the three stripes in it, the big bands of stripes with the light camel, white in the middle and black down the bottom. And this is really easy to team up. You can choose any of these three colors that you like to team up with what you've got back in your wardrobe. I've put this cardi with a pair of Karen jeans. Now these jeans have got elastic in the bottom. They're amazingly comfortable. They're a black pair of harem jeans with, yeah, remember the old harem pants? Well, they're doing harem jeans now and harem jogger pants. The elastic in the bottom is really back in. It's actually quite comfortable to wear. You don't have to worry about the length because you can just blouse them over if you want to. Instead of wearing the traditional sneakers, which I will show you lots of sneakers as well, sneaker outfits, I put on my espadrilles, just for a trans-seasonal look. This is the kind of look that you can wear out, and as I said, you might just go from a little bit super cash up a notch or two. You're going from super cash up a notch, and you're looking a little bit more stylish, having a little bit more fun with your cardigans. Like most women, I love my cardies. They're just, they're like wearing your dressing gown out of the house, I think. They're just so incredibly comfortable. So I changed the necklace around and put on some boho beads and I could also put on a cross the body bag. Just a little purse like that, just enough for when I'm going out. The same way that we would style up just about anything else in our wardrobe, we can add accessories to our cardies as well and give them a whole different image. And that's the idea with whatever we buy for our wardrobe that we get to wear it multiple ways. Let's have a look at these other cardigan outfits. Aren't the colours in this cardigan just beautiful? We've got tan, we've got some rust and we've got black and white. It's a fantastic combination of colours. And of course you can choose any of these colours to accessorise or team up with. This is a cotton knit cardi. All the cardies that I'm going to show you are reasonably light knit. I put a satin camisole on underneath this because this would be a great trans-seasonal outfit and I have on a little pair of pumps, just black slide-on pump sandals. You could really make 
Nate Gilcarty's work for you. You can get a lot of mileage and a lot of wear out of them by wearing them in a variety of ways. I think cardies, particularly longer cardies, are a fantastic go-to outfit for transseasonal and even in a winter climate, if you live in a winter climate that doesn't get too cold like I do. These are perfect go-to outfits. They give enormous variety of mixing and matching and that's why I thought today I'd show you some cardigans that aren't just standard looking cardigans. Cardigans that do look a little bit more stylish. Cardigans that you can have more fun styling up. Oh and this one has pockets. <laughs> to me it's not a real cardi if it doesn't have pockets. I, I can cope with it. I'll live with it. But I do really like the pockets in Cardi's. That's part of the Cardi, isn't it? Well, I think so. I'll show you these sneakers first. They have the snake print. It's uh, that's a dark grey, charcoal grey and white. And they've got the gold down the front and the white rubber. These are the kind of sneakers that you can buy these days. So as with your Cardi's, you can really step it up a little bit with your sneakers and get creative with sneakers as well. But there's so many sneakers around now that it's a lot of fun to go colour and go print as well. So I've teamed them up with this predominantly white outfit. And me being me, I love a white outfit. It's absolutely teeming out there right now. It's gorgeous, but we have had a lot of rain lately and it's settled down for a while. We had sunshine back again. Well, it's back. It's Easter here and every Easter without fail, it rains whether it's the beginning of Easter or the middle of Easter, it will rain every Easter and sometimes result in blood. These jeans still have the tag on here because I'm not sure if I'm keeping them. Most of the ladies on Instagram, I keep seeing their lovely photos and they're just about all on a pair of white jeans, except me. <laughs> and I thought it's about time. They're not the most perfect fit. They're not bad. They're a little bit um, big here, across here. And I didn't really want slash, the slash in them, the ripped jean. Not because I dislike it, I just wanted a plain pair of white jeans because I don't really feel that comfortable in white jeans actually because <laughs> I'm pear shaped and I carry my weight from the waist down and anything white or light is going to make me look bigger on the bottom. That's why I'm dressed monochromatic by the way. That's one way that you can avoid looking wider and not so short and not so wide is to dress all in the one colour tone. I'm hugely fond of monochromatic dressing. I am petite at five foot two. It does make me, I think, not look so short. I don't know if it makes me look taller, but it does make me look not so short. But the thing that I'm most concerned about is looking wider. <laughs> it's not so much the height. I can live with that. And you can always wear a heel. But I don't want to look wider than I am. I don't think any of us want to look more this way. Well, not many of us, I don't think. I have my gorgeous crystal pendant with the stone beads in it. I've got my new beautiful bag. I don't think I've shown you this one. No, it arrived yesterday. It has like a weave through it. They're like, um, you know when you weave over and under? Love it. All soft and padded. I've, I realised I bought three bags recently and they all have this padding to them. I must really like things that are padded. <laughs> they feel soft and I don't know. Maybe that's the style at the moment too. I'm just seeing a lot of it because that's what's getting around at the moment. But I happen to like it. I won't buy a trend if I don't like it. I don't care how, how on trend it is. If I don't like it, I'm not buying it or wearing it. You can't really probably see this, but it has a fleck of beige through it as well. I just think it's very beachy and very me. <laughs> so now I'll show you this particular cardigan, style up a different way. Athleisure wear is incredibly popular. I haven't fully embraced it, I must admit. The reason being is I think of my mind in some ways I'm still stuck back in the 80s or the 90s when we wore the velour tracksuit pants. <laughs> They're back too, by the way. You know, the velour sets, we had the, the hoodie velour zip up, like a bomber jacket, um, tracksuit jacket and the velour pants. 
My head's still stuck back there. When we didn't wear tracksuit pants that way, we wore them in a, a pretty basic kind of, well, not a very dressy way, not a very stylish way. But now that's all changed, completely changed. I really like the way these have got a slight flare on them. I like that for my body shape, but I just think it gives a little bit more style and I like the split up the front. I don't know what that's about, but it's on trend at the moment. It gives it a bit more style, I guess. I know a lot of you already are wearing a lot of athleisure wear or some athleisure wear. You've jumped right in and you've been wearing it for quite a few years. I am a little bit behind with that, I must admit. I needed to change my mindset and now that I have, because um, when winter comes along, I'll be nice and comfortable and warm and I won't have to wear jeans all the time because I don't want to wear jeans all the time. A solid colour cardi that's in one of the traditional sort of colours that we wear cardis like grey. Well, mix it up with some coloured sneakers and a funky t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Boss lady. Me. <laughs> I used to be. I used to be a boss lady and I'm bossy. You guys keep leaving comments saying that I'm sweet <laughs> and I'm cute. <laughs> That's great, but I'm bossy. I was a boss lady. I wasn't um, a wallflower by any means. Part of me is still there. I don't know why you're not seeing it here on YouTube. I must be behaving myself <laughs> uh, too much maybe. I don't know. But I can still identify with boss lady. Okay, I'm only boss of myself now and the dog to some extent. I say to some extent because, well, she's pretty willful, always has been. <laughs> so only the dog to some extent and myself. I really like red and grey together. I think that's a good combination. I think it's, um, that just works. When it works, it works, right? Right? Am I sounding like um, Megan? <laughs> Megan Markle? Right? Right, Oprah, right? <laughs> so controversial, isn't it? We won't go there. Look at that boss lady. Is there any bigger boss lady in the whole world than the Queen? <laughs> Her Royal Highness, Elizabeth, the Queen of England. There's no bigger boss lady than her and I wouldn't be messing with her. Not me. <laughs> I wouldn't be messing with her. <laughs> I think that would be one time where you kind of got to know your place and you got to know who's at the top, who's at the top of the pecking order there. You can't beat it. <laughs> you can join it, but you can't beat it. You, or you can leave. Shit. Sure. 
thank you so much for watching today. I truly appreciate that. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye now.